What's up, y'all? It's your boy, J-Team, M-A-K, just 10 more minutes, a.k.a. The Freaking 10. Back again on this Monday with a band I haven't covered for almost two years, and that's Frozen Crown. And this is one when I when I went back this morning and it came up on my page, you know, I'll open YouTube. And what I started thinking about was there's a lot of bands that that pop up on my page, whether it's Napalm or, or, you know, another big label that I've covered in the past. They always pop up with these recommended. And I saw this one, which was nine days ago from Frozen Crown. Now, I'd only covered two of their songs. They weren't big videos for me. I think combined, I think they had maybe 300 views. But it, it kind of reminded me of why I started this channel to branch out and listen to different bands. And here recently, I know, you know, it's been Sabaton Nightwish, The Warning as kind of the mainstays with some Beast in Black and, and Battle Beast and these thrown in. Um... But I kind of want to get back into throwing those random bands in because that's really that's what got me to it. And it doesn't become the monotony of just, hey, it's Sabaton. Hey, it's Nightwish. Hey, it's The Warning. And while those bands are truly near and dear to me now, it's I started the channel to just branch out and review everything. So I wanted to bring it kind of back to that and cover Frozen Crown with this one, which again was released nine days ago with, with Black Heart. So with that being said, let's check it out. Okay. Here was my first thoughts, 100% transparent. Generic. And, you know, part of me wants to say, I don't mean that as an insult or a bad thing. But to me, it is what it is. There's nothing within this first part that stands out to say, I'm a great song. Now, again, it's not a bad song. The lyrics are good. The harmonies are great. The music is great. But it's a generic sound, if that makes sense. It's like I could probably go click on uh, quite a few bands like this and get that same just generic sound. There's nothing that stands out and makes it unique. As we ride the echoes of endless time and the morning sun fades out to this dusk, so far beyond the gates of wind and stars, 
in these stormy times we're standing strong. This fight will last forever, for blood and steel our flame still burns. Blackheart will live forever, for blood and steel our flame still burns. In these barren lands the tyrant will lead, wearing black upon his throne he'll speak. Unleash the fire and bring them to me, to these spires where no one can flee. This fight will last forever, for blood and steel our flame still burns. Blackheart will live forever, for blood and steel our flame still burns. It doesn't connect with me. And it may for some, if you're you know, you're a fan of Frozen Crown, obviously they've been doing this for a while. But it doesn't connect with me. There's... What story are they telling, right? You know, they're, they're talking about in these stormy times we're standing strong and this fight will last forever. And they talk about, you know, this, this tyrant wearing black upon his throne is that black heart and that he'll live forever and for blood and steel our flame still burns. But then it talks about a fight, right? Are they fighting the tyrant? Are they what are they fighting? And the sound I, again is just generic. It's strong. It's still a it's it's not a bad song in that sense, but it's it's one that you could probably hear the same type of sound from quite a few. But let's keep going. I'll try to be fair. It kind of grew on me towards the end. I still stand by what I said. It's a very generic sounding song. But the harmonies really grew on me. Y'all know I'm a sucker for harmonies, and I like their harmonies. Falling, their vaults are crumbling as we storm the gathering halls. Strike remain unseen as we enter inward. Darkness surrounds, morning as castles burning. They're trying to get out of sight, take them off their land, shall not they touch any stone. And those realms are mine. The fight will last forever, for blood and steel our flame still burns. Blackheart will live forever, for blood and steel our flame still burns. 
here's where here's where I, I will kind of pick the, the song because in that first part, in the barren lands, the tyrant will lead wearing black upon his throne. He'll speak, unleash the fire and bring them all to me to the spires where no one can flee. So my assumption is, is that they're storming other castles and this is Blackheart who would be the leader of this land, the tyrant. Falling there, vaults are crumbling as we storm in the gathering halls. Strike remain unseen as we enter inward. Darkness surrounds morning as castles burning. They're trying to get out of sight. Take them off their land. Shall not they touch any stone as those realms are mine. So it seems like the story is, is this tyrant is trying to take over these lands and storming other castles and burning them and, and then, you know, capturing their forces. Not a bad story. I think I would have gone for a little bit more direct to outline more of what it is about. You know, of, of saying the tyrant is planning something, right? Not just unleash the fire and bring them all to me to these spires where no one can flee. I would have. I That one was fine, but it more of the second part of falling as we storm in the gathering halls strike remain unseen as we enter inward because quite honestly you could change this around and say that this is a song from the opposite side and that you know shall they not touch any stone all those realms are mine of someone coming in and taking it that's a stretch don't get me wrong but i think i would have i would have solidified more of the story from that that part um to put it in something of the sense of shall not they touch any stone all those realms are mine to something of you know all those realms belong to the black heart because they're not doing really any kind of rhyme scheme with some of these things so I think that's the one that I would have done. All those realms belong to the Black Heart. Something like that to really just emphasize the story. That's just a personal nitpick. Not a bad song. I, I, it, I still think it's a generic sound, but really at the end with some of those guitar parts and such really kind of grew on me. And the harmonies and, and such really grew on me as well. So I'm kind of interested, you know, March 10th, that's three days after my birthday, so... Um, I'll always, you know, be, be ones that <laughs> be partial to ones that come around that date. But yeah, I, it's got my interest peaked a little bit. I'll admit. Let's see where it goes. All right. That's going to do it for this one. Y'all know who I am and what I'm about. JTMM. Like, subscribe and share. I'm out.